Hello everyone and welcome to our Directify Finance and Operation module by Training Series. So in our previous episode, we create a basic purchase trade agreement for the purchase price. And in the next couple of videos, we discuss about the different purchase discount trade agreement. So in the current episode, we discuss about the line discount trade agreement. So in order to create a line discount trade agreement, we go again go to procurement sourcing, labs all inside setup. We have price and discounts. Let's open the trade agreement journal name. This purchase price trade agreement journal we created. for the purchase price so let's create a new journal for discounts set the description to purchase line discount and set the relation to line discounts now let's save this journal once this is done so after the same like purchase agreement we need to activate the parameter click on the active price discount open the line discount you need to enable all the fields in the line discounts enable all if this line discount toggle is not enabled then you will not get the line discount in any purchase order so don't forget to enable this parameter So let's create a line discount trade agreement now. Go to price and discount. So inside trade agreement journal, let's create a new. Click on the new and select the trade agreement journal name which we have created now. Purchase line discount. So our description and the relation is inherited from the trade agreement journal. So let's click on the lines and add the lines in the. discount journal so same as purchase trade agreement we need to set the relation for the vendor and the item here so if you want to know about detail information about how you can set the relation between the vendor and item you can check out our previous episode of create a purchase trade agreement so let's i'll select the all table inside account selection set our vendor with limited the item relation also we set to the table and select the item for which we have set the purchase price in the previous episode so let's set the item so now the important part is here in the line discount trade agreement you can specify the discount in the amount and you can also set the discount in the percentage so for example as per our previous video we set the purchase price to the 100 dollar for the item so now you want to provide the 10 dollar amount as a discount for the vendor so you will set the amount here as a 10 so likewise you want to provide the 10% discount over the 100 amount so we'll remove this amount from here and set the discount percentage of 10 in the discount percentage column timing i have set as a 10% amount here so same here as a purchase trade agreement you can set the site and warehouse here and you can also add the product dimension like for particular size style or color then you can set the discount here but for the product dimension wise discount you need to enable the purchase pair parameter in the product dimension for this you can find the product dimension video in the i button so this is a very basic line discount agreement is created you can also specify the from date and to date range for this discount example you have promotion discount which applied for the specific time frame then you can specify the time range here so let's validate this discount post this journal so now our journal is posted let's create the purchase order and check how our discount is work purchase order all purchase order let's create a per new purchase order select the vendor for which we have set the line discount trade agreement so we set pvs limited if you want to set the discount for all the vendor then you can set the all option in the line discount journal let's add the item so you can see here our discount of 10 dollar is applied to the amount 1000 dollar so now we move to the some advanced topic of the line discount trade agreement so let's edit that our journal this product the purchase view trade agreements this one is our line discount trade agreement we click on the edit selected line change the name to the purchase line click on okay edit this line now i remove this 10 dollar amount from here and instead of amount i am providing the discount in the discount percentage so in the discount percentage you will find the two fields where well, first one is a discount percentage 1 and the second one is a discount percentage 2 in the discount percentage 1 as a 10 then system will provide the 10% discount for the item same way for the i remove from the discount 1 and assign the discounted percentage in the discount 2 as a 20 or 10 stim will provide the 10 or 20% discount but what if i provide the discount in the both the column let's demonstrate this process i'll set the discount 10 percentage over here and set the 20 here save validate this journal and post now 
let's again go to our purchase order remove this item from this purchase order and add again now you can see here the discount percentage is applied 28 but in the discount line we have set as a 10 or 20 so how system will recognize its 28 percent so for this I'll again go to purchase order edit selected line so in the discount percentage when I uh, over this mouse over the discount percentage one you will get some formula which is provided by the Microsoft for this field when you set the discount percentage in both the field in one and two then system will calculate the discount based on the, this formula so the next very important concept is a quantity line discounts where we provide the discounts to the vendor based on the purchase quantity which means that if you purchase more from the vendor your vendor will get the more discounts on this so let's replicate this scenario in the discount line go to discounts line edit this line and in the from column we set the quantity to the one and in the two column we set the quantity to the one not one and set the discount amount and set the discount percentage as a five percent discount same way I'll again add the same line so I'll just copy this line and change the discount from one not one to two not one and set the discount percentage for the line 10 percent discount here important part I need to mention here that in the quantity you need to make sure that quantity is must be the next number for which you want to apply the discount here you can see in the 101 to 101 means that system will apply the discount from quantity 1 to the quantity 100 and exclude the discount from the quantity 101 so if you set the discount quantity here from 1 to 100 then your vendor will not get the discount for the 100 quantity they will only get the discount till 19 and quantity so you need to make sure in the from and to column you set the proper quantity over here so let's add again one more line and this time I change the from 201 to 501 and the discount percentage is a 15 now so we set the three lines in the line discount trade agreement first is a 1, no, one to 101 one in this quantity range vendor will get the discount for the 5 percentage in the second range they will get the discount for the 10 percentage and for the 201 to 501 they will get the discount for the 15 percent let's save this line click on the validate validate all lines once validate is completed let's click on the post and post this line discount trade agreement journal you can see here all three lines are added again go to the purchase order inside purchase order I'll remove this this line and add the line and change the quantity this time from 1 to 50 so you can see over here our 5% discount is applied from the quantity 1 to 100 let's change the quantity to 101 and you can see the discount percentage is also changed from 5% to the 10% discount same way for the 400 you can see here the discount percentage is changing from 10% to the 15% so in the trade agreement we have some additional field like vendor charges which allow you to specify the handling fees for the vendor about the fine next field how its work and its functionality to know about the detailed information about this functionality you can check out our channel directify ERP clips we have created a short video clips that covers the important concepts to help to understand them quickly so you can find out this link of this channel in the description below so that's it for this video if you have any question about discount trade agreement then you can ask this in the comment section so in the next videos we discuss about the multi-line discounts and the total discounts trade agreement journal so stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel and keep updated about this so thank you for watching